Hello guys, Christian here. Today I want to show you how to use a corner round tool in cameras. It's very easy and very handy for, let's say, this part who have a corner round filet on the interior, on the exterior tool. So, I will define for the exterior a boss which will start from here to here. For the interior I will define a pocket who will start of course from here to here. Okay, so right click on the rectangular boss. No new 2.5 axis mill operations, control mill. Hit OK. Let's check the radius, of course. Evaluate. Check. Select it. So I have a 2 millimeter radius. So I will need to have a corner round with radius 2. It's very easy. Go to tool. Tool crib from library, add a new tool, and here it's corner round. This is a corner round tool. Very, very good. So let's add this one. Let's change the comment. So this is a corner round air to tool radius body diameter shank diameter fluid length and so on I will leave it the default values ok right now all I need to do is generate an operation plan as you can see right now if I simulate it of course, when you use a corner round, you will need, in most cases, only one tool path on the Z direction. So the first, the first for me is, and the second is this one. So go back, modify the first cut amount, maxing cut amount. I put here bigger values in order for me to have only one, only one path. So, this is a corner round. Okay, let's check for the corner round if the Z coordinate is good. So, what my Program zero for the Z direction, it's on the front face. So in order for me to have a good result, I have, I need to have a Z minus two. So let's go back and simulate. And the first, path is on the Z minus three. So, Minus three means the dimension from this, this uh, area to this area. So, it is very important when you work to, with a corner round tool where you define your tool length because you, you, you can define it here or here. Minus three means this dimension. Flute length. Flute length means from here, somewhere here. In my opinion, I recommend you to use it the flute length exactly the same like the like the radius, and now generate the toolpad. So this is the simulation right now. Z minus two. I have clients who work with a different we have a different process and 
they need to get the two length in here. So on the on the front side of, of, of the tool to just let me simulate again. So right now on this side it's zero. So the first coordinate on the z axis is zero. So be careful when you work with the corner on, on the CNC operator where he takes the tool length here or here if he choose to to put it here to take it here because in some cases it's much easier just go camera's tool and use output through tangent if you use the other way around you can use it the tip function in the tool if you use it this area of course, this is for uh, exterior, so for corner round exterior I use a rectangular boss. For the interior I use a pocket, contour mill, of course I can save the operation plan and use it, um, use it later, but right now I will insert it manually, link the two operation to get the tool, I'll link it, and then right now I have the tool the feed and speed and so on. So let's simulate corner round for the interior. Let's simulate tool pad again using the stock. So the first corner round and the second corner round. Very easy using a corner round tool in cameras. Thank you for watching. If you have more questions, feel free to contact me via my LinkedIn profile or YouTube channel.